How's this? <laughs> you put the thing on, it's not even touching the steering wheel. It's sort of, the dashboard's so big on this that the reflectives just sort of, you know, cover the whole dash. Now, in due course, I might get an 80-watt panel and just stick the 80-watt panel there when I'm not driving. Um, got another dash cam for this, but realistically, I've got a dash cam sitting right there anyway out of the other car, so I might put the new one in the other car. Something I want to show you here, I'm just changing the oil at the moment, I've just got the, uh, the cap sitting down there on some crappy gloves. Um, so anyway, I'll show you something. They, uh, I'm still hearing a little bit of that tick noise bullshit, but only for the first like 30, 45 seconds, and I've flipped the hood, and I reckon I know what it is. It's a blasted um, air conditioning compressor. Um, just making a tick, tick, tick noise for a bit. So we might get this summer out of it, and that's about it. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, even if we can just get this summer out of it, that'll be good. Um, yeah, they sort of really start making a definite noise, but uh, when they really start to go bad, but this one only makes a noise for a, a little bit. So uh, yeah, I probably should. Uh, Oh, just put the window down here. It's blowing a bit. Um, so, yeah, I'll take you out and show you something. I've seen a little drip underneath when I was under there, and then I've noticed something else. Uh, just when I went to look at that blimmin' uh, air conditioning refrigerant compressor, and uh, they're freaking cheaped out. It's an easy fix, but it means the bastard's spitting a bit of oil out unnecessarily. It's made a little bit of a mess for no good reason. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they steam cleaned underneath it. Like, I, was, I saw underneath it and I thought, oh, shit, this looks clean. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually steam cleaned it. Because I used to uh, do a bit of steam cleaning when I was at the piggery, um, just on certain particular things, not out with the pigs, but other things that um, are to do with the works and jerks. But... A little blooming twenty twenty five dollar handheld thing you fill up with a certain amount of water. It comes with a little cup, and it just blasts steam out the end, and you can clean things quite well. And I reckon that's what they've done with the bottom of this, uh, to you know, because they always, as part of roadworthy, oh, is there any drips and leaks? Well, there's not if you just cleaned all the freaking oil off of the steam cleaner, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put my finger over the mic and I'll show you. It looks like a breather hose they haven't really done properly. Alrighty, that's it there. And I don't know how good the light is here. I'll try and get out of the light a bit. The cheapskates have put a bloody zip tie on it. They haven't even cut the end neatly, as you can see. And they put a freaking zip tie on it. And then it's starting to drip down a bit of oil down there. Down inside all those uh, castings, which I think is directly responsible for the little drip I see underneath. So later point I'll get the uh, cover off here um, and we'll have a go at uh, oh, getting the zip tie off and cutting the end of the pipe neatly and putting an actual hose clamp on like it should have because uh, I think it might be a breather or something it's spitting a bit of oil uh, down um, there and you can't really see it very well but trust me it's all fairly, fairly fresh looking so I'll try and wipe all that off not as well. Um, that down there is the air compressor, uh, oh, the refrigerant air conditioning compressor. Uh, you can see there's some of my lines here uh, for your thing and then it just goes straight down there and you can see that one. Uh, you might be able to see it sort of jumps in there but that's it there. Um, so yeah, she's got the two wires sort of see one of the wires there that come off it. It looks like they put a new belt on the thing when I look at the belt, so that's all right, but yeah, that thing's, uh, you know, it's probably not a hard replacement. You might need to get, you're going to have to get this cover off. And maybe the there's a heat guard cover over the, because this is V6 and that's one of your exhausts there. It says hot can barely see 
I reckon if you get that off, take the belt off, take this off, get that off, you might be able to slip it up through here, but I don't know about this one here. I think that's a time and belt cover, so it could be a bit of a bitch. Um, failing that, you might have to take the whole manifold out of the whole exhaust manifold on this side, which would not be a nice job. Um, but that won't be my problem, I don't think. This is sort of fairly cheap plastic and you get your cap right on there. Uh, that's your coolant. This one here, it's always sitting on minimum um, and that's your power steering. And the washer there doesn't matter a shit. Uh, it's funny, they've got two prongs that sit out there and they touch nothing. They touch nothing at all. I think it's just to stop it twanging too much or something, I don't know. But uh, oh, it should be topped up. I might just put a bit of water in that in a minute. Um, yeah, very different. I'm not used to the east-west type engine, uh, and I usually thought it was the engine on the top and the transmission underneath, but with this it's like the engine's set back a bit or something, and the transmission's a little bit forward, and there's your uh, engine mounts. Yeah, and these I believe are the ones that uh, got replaced in the back here, uh, the struts. The strut rubbers, rather, and the, the bush for the struts. Oh, they have too, because the freaking nuts clean. So that's just been taken off and put on. That's that one there. Yeah. And that's it there. That's the other side. So they said it was a bastard to get at, and by fucking cripes, it'd be a prick to get at. Um, so yeah, those have been replaced. So very stiff sort of suspension on it. You said the plug leads as well, and you can tell. Like, look at how clean they are versus everything else. <laughs> and the way it's looking, I wouldn't be surprised if part of this. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this is feeling new too. That I think that might be your oxygen sensor set up. I'd say so. Um, or maybe it's this one. Anyway. I'll check the air cleaner later. That I think is all your fuses and bullshit. Um, there's your uh, battery, obviously. Made in the Philippines, crikey. Uh, it really does need a transmission check out and I'm a bit sort of concerned still when you turn it hard lock uh, with the, what's his names? Um, oh, what do you call it? The um, Geez, it's been patched up too at some point. Some sort of a sealant blooming epoxy on the bloody thing. A um, bit worried about the universal joints because when you go hard lock, it sort of starts jumping a bit when you go hard lock. You can see a bit of something down there too. Might be. I don't know what that is. I don't think it'll be the air conditioning thing, but there's just a bit of fluid down there. Yeah, I didn't hit any puddles. Let's try and work it where that's coming from.